today's tutorial, I'm going to create a manual juice extractor using AutoCAD 2020. Start drawing circle. So type C for circle command. Type D for the meter option. And enter 70 millimeters. Right click to repeat circle. Locate center. Type D for the meter option and enter 15 which is this one here now I'm going to draw a line from this point to this point which is 60 so L for line command specify center point and bring your drawing upward for 60 units Now I'm going to move this line from in point to in point and draw another circle to get midpoint. Type D for the meter option and enter 52.28, which is this one here. Now I'm going to apply loft command. Go back to the ribbon and inside modeling panel, select loft and select these three circles and enter twice. I'm just going to change this to x-ray and bring this drawing to front view. I'm just going to turn off the grid. Go back to the ribbon and inside the solid editing panel. Click this drop down arrow and select copy edges. Before we do that, I'm going to apply fillet here first. So go to solid, fillet edge, go down to the command prompt, click radius option and enter 15 units. And click that edge, enter twice. Now I'm going to copy edges. So inside the solid editing panel, click this drop down arrow and select copy edges. Click that edge and this one. Enter. And specify a base point or displacement. So click this end point and move it here. And select exit. I'm going to move this more a little bit. So you can have space. And type O for offset command. And enter 4. And offset this one and click inside I'm gonna extend this one to intersect this uh, object here so type EX for extend command select the object for boundary right click and select this object now I'm gonna draw a line click that in point to in point another line from in point and bring it downward. Make sure it's straight. Now I'm going to trim this one here. So select this one as boundary, right click and select this object here. I'm going to join the segment. So type J for join command and select this one and this one here. I'm going to revolve this object for 5 units, which is this one here. So what I'm going to do is create this one to create indentations. But I'm going to revolve this one half of 5, which is 2.5. So type REV. enter and specify axis start point you can use that and click that in point and enter 2.5 so bring this to top view i only need i only did half so that i could center this one so i'm just gonna mirror this object from in point and bring it straight and select no 
I'm going to join or combine the objects and select the whole thing. Now it's easier. From input, <clears throat> connect it to the quadrant and move this one a little bit. I'm just going to bring this to top view. Move for point two. Now it's over this edge because I'm going to use this to cut this object here. So now I'm going to apply or use polar array or array polar. So type array and select array polar. Select this object. Specify center point of array. So I'm just going to use the center of the circle. Shift right click and select center and go back to the ribbon and change the number of items to 12. Enter. So I'm going to use this one to cut this object here. But since I cannot use a red object to cut this object, I'm going to explode this one. So X for explode command and select this object. Now I'm going to group this exploded object by typing G. Select group and type P for previews and enter. Now this is group now. So go to the ribbon and select subtract command inside the solid editing panel. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select this group object. Now I'm going to create this portion here, this one. So I'm going to create a circle. Center. And just click that edge here and then extrude this circle downward for 7.1 as shown here. You can create another circle, look at center. Type D for diameter option and enter 100. Extrude this circle upward for 14 units as shown here from this point to this point. Select that circle. Click extrude command and move your cursor upward for 14 units. I'm going to apply fillet on this edge. And it has a radius of 5. So go to solid, select fillet edge. Go down, go down to the command prompt. Select radius option and enter 5. And, in, and click this edge. Enter twice. Now I'm going to apply shell to create this indentation here. So shell inside the solid editing panel, select the object, go down to the command prompt, select undo and undo this face, enter and enter thickness of the shell, enter two and enter again. I'm going to hide these two objects here or I could combine these two first. Select union command, select this object and this object, and then I'm just going to move this one, bring your drawing to top view, I'm going to change this to 2D wireframe, I'm going to create a circle. 
70. Okay. Type C for circle, locate center. Type D for diameter option and enter 70 units. And create the slot. So draw a line. Bring it upward for 10 units. So I'm just going to offset for 2. Draw a line. Draw another line. Now apply fillet. Go to home and use this fillet here. Go down to the command prompt, select multiple, click that one, click that, that line, this line, and this line. Now join the segments. Now this is one object. I'm going to move this one from center to the quadrant here and array this object for 50 items so array polar select this object enter and select center of point of array go to the ribbon and change the number of items to 50 enter enter again Now we can extrude this one unless it's exploded. So type X for explode command. Select this array of objects. Now this is individual object. Now I'm just going to extrude this one. So select one object, right click and select similar. And go to the modeling panel and select extrude command. And extrude it downward for about 30 units I'm going to show you what happened here so conceptual now subtract command select the object you want to keep right click and select the objects that you want to subtract there you go now I'm going to move this back, look at center, and attach it to the center, or the face of the object. See, you can see that blue color, snap it, and then combine using union command. Select this object and this object, I'm just going to delete that. Apply fillet, so go to solid, select fillet edge, click radius, and enter 1. Select this edge and this edge, enter twice. I'm just going to use or change this to realistic. Move. Just going to delete that. I'm going to apply, I'm going to minimize that one, maximize this one, and smoothen the edges by applying fillet. So radius, I'm going to use 0.1. Select chain. Click this edge. This edge. Enter twice. Select chain option.
enter twice. Maybe I'm gonna change this to X-ray to be easier. Select edge, select this one. And chain option first. Select edge, select chain option. And you can do the rest. This takes time, but you know what to do. And apply materials. I'm going to select yellow. And just drag this one and apply it to the object. Oh, this is glass. I'm going to use plastic. There. Smooth yellow. There you go. I think we're done. So thanks for watching. And please click the subscribe icon and the notification bell to get notified for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.